Press it forward. It's going to zoom your radar out. Pull it away from the screen. Um, it's going to zoom your radar in. Okay. Um, this is mainly just important for navigation reasons. You pretty much want it at 80 nautical miles. Um, there's enough space in between each of the little squares. You guys saw when you zoom out your radar, you get a lot more little squares. To log onto those, you're just pressing this little stick in the front. So a lot of you guys saw that. Um, it gives you the what you're locked onto down there. So navigation is good. It's going to take you where you want it to go. Uh, like at first, we're going to be just armed with air to ground. We're going to hit up the uh, bombing range. So you're going to first lock on navigation, find bomb range. Uh, once you found bomb range, usually within about 20 nautical miles, okay, you know how far away you are, right down here. 20 nautical miles, you want to switch over to uh, air to ground, okay? Switch over air to ground. And at this point, zoom your radar in to about 20 nautical miles, okay? This will help you just because if you're all the way zoomed out at 80, it's just going to be a bunch of like little clusters just like this all over the place. And then if you want to lock onto something, you're going to have to cycle through like 100 little squares until you're actually locked onto the right thing. And you might not even be locked onto the right thing. So that's why. So just kind of zoom your radar in and move to air to ground. Uh, biggest thing with air to air is you need to make sure you're in all or foe. If you are in friend, uh, if you are in friend, you won't be able to lock on to anybody. So it's not as fun. So it's uh, yeah. So you just press this one. So it's the opposite of your wheel brake. Press it to the. I want to say to the right. One way does night vision, one way changes it from all friend, foe, okay? So just make sure it's at all or foe. We'll come by and make sure on that one. But to lock on the aircraft is the same thing. So you just press this nice little stick right there. Simple enough. And then uh, you'll lock onto it and you can see all the information it gives you. Air to ground and navigation just give you what you're locked onto and the distance away you are from it. Air to air is going to give you what sim you're going to be locked onto. Um, the altitude they are at compared to you. So if it's negative 23, that's negative 2300 feet below you. So that means negative is going to be below you, positive is going to be either up above you. Uh, it's going to give you a distance away from them and it's going to give you their speed. So if you're going 800 and they're going like 200, you might want to start slowing down to probably just fly right by them. So, and the same thing, if they're going 800 and you're going 300 and you're trying to catch up to them, uh, you might want to find a new target because you're not going to catch up to them anytime soon. Uh, that being said, what we can always teach here is check six. Oh, that's the Twitter thing. So, we do check six because you guys know what check six is? Yeah. So, let's look behind you. It's pretty much, if you think about your viewing area as a clock. You got 12 o'clock right in front of you, 3 o'clock to your right, 9 o'clock to left, and 6 o'clock behind you. Uh, in Top Gun and everything, what you learn is Top Gun, a red flag for the um, Air Force. You learn to be a better pilot. You want to get rear aspect on the other person. Uh, to get rear aspect, you pretty much just have to outmaneuver them, um, outmove them, uh, turn tighter, okay? Do better dips. Okay, not get caught up, uh, not stall out as much. Speed and altitude are your friends, all right? That is what's going to win you. That's the keys to the match. But uh, you want to get behind them, okay? You need to get right behind them. We get rear aspect is normally about like a 30 degree cone behind them. So regardless of where you're looking at it, you're pretty much behind them. You can see their engines, okay? That's where we want to shoot. We don't want head-on shots. Head-on shots. In real life, they're just going to, if you blow up that person or you shoot them down there, pieces are going to go into your <laughs> intake yourself and destroy your ship. So that's not as good. And they're normally a lot harder of shots, uh, especially like this, from the side and everything as well. In real combat, to outmaneuver them is to kind of get behind them into that rear aspect um, killing position. To do just your guns, which is probably what we'll start out on, we'll see if we do. Missiles. Missiles are pretty easy. 
But uh, if you do guns, you want to just be within about 0.5 nautical miles. You want to be pretty much right on top of them. So we're going to get into weapons right now. So first thing we're going to be equipped with is bombs, air-to-ground weapons. Uh, first of all, to select your weapons, this. Right over here is your little weapons uh, thing. So if you are armed, it'll say gun 700. If it's at gun zero, you're either ran out of guns or you're not armed. Uh, we're going to set you up. So say gun 700. Next, you'll underneath that will be kind of your primary weapons. So guns are, of course, your guns. But uh, underneath that, is your secondary weapon. So behind this target selector, the little hockey stick, okay, there's a hockey puck, I'm going to say. Okay, a little pinky button. This is your weapon select. Weapon select is going to, for when you have air to ground, loadout is going to be uh, two Mark 83s and four um, Maverick missiles, which are air to ground missiles. Don't lock onto an aircraft and shoot them, they won't. They'll try to lock on, but they won't hit. So they're air to ground, or strictly air to ground missiles. To use these, all you do is you get up just like you guys have been doing in the air. Um, you're going to lock onto the target. Like I said, once you're within that 20 nautical miles, you're going to switch to air to ground, lock onto the target, and uh, fire. To fire, it's just this red pickle button. Okay. So you want to be within about 10 nautical miles, I believe is the range for the two, or for the uh, Mavericks. Mavericks are radar guided, so Mavericks, you need this little box. So you have this little box, you'll have how far away you are from the target. Uh, 10 nautical miles out, go ahead and press the big red button. Mark 83s are a little bit different, they're just dummy bombs or gravity bombs. Uh, they're not radar guided by any means. So you're going to have this little crosshair. Now sometimes the crosshair is hard to show up. Um, you have to be going a good speed, probably about 350, probably about 400, 450 is the normal bombing run. Um, like you don't want to be going too fast because you can't get too many shots in. But uh, 450 is usually pretty good. So 450, if you don't see it still, you're going to have to probably nose down a little bit. So kind of make like a nice little bombing run. About 450, a um, little above 450. Nose down, you'll be able to see that crosshair. And then you just line your crosshair up with that box and release with your pickle button. Um, that kind of just shows you where your bomb's going to go. So that's exactly what that means. It's almost like a velocity vector for your bombs. Um, that's mainly it for the, the weapons. You'll see, you get kind of used to it. The biggest thing is just getting nice and level and being able to find this box, cycling through the stuff you want to shoot down, uh, and pressing that big red, okay? Uh, the pickle button at the top. Another note that you need to have, you guys all saw those master arm switches on the upper left side. Make sure those are up and armed, so the switch is up, okay? Make sure those are up, your arm, master arm switch has to be on, and your landing gear has to be up. So if your landing gear is not up, you will not be able to fire up either. But that is, that's your kind of your bombing, okay? Uh, for air-to-air -air combat, which we'll get into a little bit later, we won't be trying to shoot each other down right away. First, make sure we know our bombing, because you guys may have to have a bombing run later on these next couple days. But the next couple of days, maybe by tomorrow, you might be able to have to bomb something, okay? So, get good at bombing, but with the guns, it's, you have 700 rounds, which uh, seems like a lot, but it's not. It uh, shoots really fast. If you hold it down, you have about two and a half to three seconds worth of bullets. Um, so, yeah, it shoots really fast. So don't, maybe, no, two and a half, three seconds. Uh, so all you need to do when trying to shoot something is little taps, especially another aircraft because it takes what, one bullet and that plane will go down. The so simulators are very nice on that, uh, <laughs> kind of, unless you're being the one shot at, and it's not as nice. But yes, so just little taps. 
So you can almost think of it, you have 700 shots to take the person out. And if you're in the right distance at 0.5 miles behind the person, rear aspect, and you can't take them down, you don't, you don't really deserve to take them down. But that is just so bad. You're, when you're that close to them, I mean, it is right there. And all you have to do is pull the trigger. Um, key thing to that is that's your gun sight. That's where your bullets will head to. So just make sure that's kind of normal. You don't want to shoot at the back of the aircraft. You want to kind of lead it in front of it just a little bit. You want, the, you want to shoot where they're going to be, not where, they're, where they've been. Really easy stuff that way. And once again, just keep working on getting that rear aspect, okay? Especially when you are dogfighting and everything. Head-on shots, weak, weak sauce. You don't, need, don't do head-on shots, weak sauce stuff, all right? Um, so is spawn killing. I says that everybody, everybody's going to, it's going to happen. We always do this. Spawn killing is, you guys saw when you kind of start back up in the air, all right? You're going to start back up in the air, like flying. Well, you'll start up in the air, and if a lot of people die, they'll all start together. And if one person pulls that trigger, everybody <laughs> dies. And then it just gets really upsetting for those people that they just got up there, and now they're dead again. And it's just like, and then, it, and then it's another cycle, because now it's another four people Thank dead. You. And so then that person dies, because we go yell at them. And then they come back up again. And so we always pulls the trigger. Always pull the trigger. We'll see if you guys can get it. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know, because everyone always says it, but I think it's because you get on the ground and you're like, oh, I'm dead. And you're just like pulling the trigger because it will still shoot. And the next thing you're <laughs> up in the air and you're like, I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that was you, actually. That was actually you. Yes. I look at you all. You're the only one with 650 um, ammunition right now. So you did just shoot. Okay. Um, that's all right. We'll be all right. Uh, well, we're first going to just work on that navigation and bombing, so maybe we'll actually go bomb uh, YBS. We'll go lock on to YBS, bomb it. The last little fun thing on your throttle, on your throttle, uh, at the top it says like dogfight, okay? So if you just go up, so wheel brakes on the bottom, everybody knows their wheel brake button by now, right? Right above it's your air brake, slide it to the left. I want to say to uh, put your air brakes out, slide back to the right. Um, it's just going to slow you down. You don't really need your air brakes. Definitely don't try that trick in Top Gun. <laughs> where you just, where you hit the brakes, you hit the air brakes, well, no, you just get shot down. Yeah, it's, I tried that, yeah, I tried that in our little Top Gun thing. I'm like, oh, let's do it, because we, we, we watched Top Gun during our Top Gun competition. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that. Did not quite work. Wow, that is that is not so good of a technique. But um, that is there, and then right above it is a dogfight button. All that releases is your shaft and flare. Okay, uh, shaft and flare is. We'll see if we get into missiles, but if there are air to or surface to air missiles, okay, SAM sites or AAA, well, AAA won't be affected, but surface to air missiles. You might want to release some of that. Uh, chaff is like little foil pieces that come out of the back of your plane. They kind of, they're, you're there to confuse radar um, guided missiles. Uh, and then flare, of course, is for heat seeking missiles to kind of give it a different. So you would release it and kind of break away uh, and hope that the missile goes there. But besides that, just remember master arm switch on, gear up. Um, find 7-2-X with, when you're within 20 nautical miles, switch over to air to ground, uh, zoom your radar back in, right, it's just going to be this little button, zoom it back in, pull it away from the screen, lock on to something I want to shoot down, and then select my weapon, pinky button, and you'll see it will say right over here, you'll first want your Maverick selected because they're radar guided and they're a little bit longer distance. So say Maverick 4, you have four Mavericks to shoot. You can get real intense like, uh, what is that movie? I want to say Independence Day. Or it's like Eagle 1, Eagle, or it's like Eagle 7, Fox 1. And then he fires it, and then he has like Fox 2, and then it's, it's great. But I still love that movie. 
But uh, yes, so you have Maverick 1, okay, 2, once you fire 1, it will say Maverick 3, and you'll see the little Maverick shoot out in front of you. Key is do not switch the next target until that hits. All right, if you switch to the next target, this missile is going to want to switch to the next target. So make sure, just stay locked on to it. You're just kind of cruising. When it hits, it should start smoking the target, and that's how you kind of know. Um, it will not go away. The uh, target will not go away, the little box. You can always, already hit a downed target. So just switch to the next one and fire, fire the next one. Do your about five, six nautical miles, get away, and then come back and do another bombing run. Um, make sure you're not just trying to turn right over. So I'm bombing this. Okay, I shoot stuff down and then just kind of keep turning. You'll never get a good shot at it again. And okay, you'll just kind of keep going like this until eventually you'll end up in the ground. Yeah, just like that too. And you also don't want to be too close to the ground. Um, if you release your bomb, especially your Mark 83s, and you're way too close to the ground, you will blow up as well. Uh, also, if you drop a bomb, or someone else drops a bomb, and you're too close to the ground, you will blow up as well. So, those are possible ways to perish. Uh, we'll probably reset you. So that's not, death isn't permanent here, fortunately. But, uh, that's nice. Video games are always good. <laughs> Guns, switch your Mark 83s, blow that up. Once you guys need a refill on ammunition, once you've used all of it, um, go land back at MIA. We'll, we'll refill you. Okay. Um, we'll probably be in there about 30 minutes, 20, maybe, maybe like 20 ish minutes to get our good bombing runs in. And then once you guys have a good handle of that, we'll get into some dog fighting. Um, if you get really good, me and Lingo will come down. And uh, we'll, we'll take over some Sims. Bring it. Yeah. 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 We will see. We will see. Actually, ooh, yeah, we'll team up with Lingo. We'll take you guys all out. That's what normally it's like, all right, like I'm getting the Sims. Next thing you see, I'll show you this real quick while we're talking about it. Uh, this is your threat radar. So if you see little white triangles over here, this means people are locked onto you. Now you won't be able to see who they are locked onto you until um, you lock onto them over here. But if you are a counselor, a team leader, and you tell the kids which one you're in, you'll usually see everybody's locked onto you. <laughs> and then it's impossible because they really like shooting head on, and you always have to turn. And it's, so it's it's always real fun about that. And now I'll get I'll get lingo too. We'll take you guys all down. Once you guys get done with bombing, though, once you get done with bombing, just in case, we need you for bombing runs later on this next one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You guys got this? We'll see. Let's go blow stuff up. Let's go blow stuff up.